everyone. I'm Malik Jallo and welcome to EJ English 224. Today I'm going to talk about a tense that sounds very difficult for many English learners. Okay, so I'll be talking about the present perfect tense. Okay, how to use the present perfect tense, what it is, and then uh, we'll give some examples. Okay, so let's go to the board. Okay, uh, as I was saying today, we are going to talk about the present perfect tense. Okay, so we're going to see um, a definition, some, I mean, the structures and some usages. Okay, so let's start. Okay, by definition, the present perfect is one of the common English tenses. It links the past and the present. So the present perfect is a tense that links the past and the present, okay? It is formed from the present tense of the auxiliary verb have. The present perfect is formed from the auxiliary verb to have, okay? Which means that when you want to have, or when you want to conjugate a verb in the present perfect, the first thing that you should do is to conjugate the auxiliary to have, and then you give the past participle of a main verb, okay? You conjugate the auxiliary to have in the simple present tense, and then you give the past participle of a main verb. When you do that, you would have conjugated the verb in the present perfect tense, okay? So, now, we are going to talk about structures. When I talk about structures here, I mean sentence structures, which means how to give um, an affirmative sentence, a negative, and an interrogative sentence, okay, in, in the present perfect tense, okay? So let's start with the affirmative. Giving the affirmative, we have the subjects plus have or has according to the subjects plus the past participle of a main verb. The subjects plus have or has plus the past participle. You know, when you are given the, the auxiliary to have or the verb to have to conjugate, you know, I, you, we, they, take, have. And he, she, it, take, has okay the third person singular as example i have eaten my breakfast i have eaten my breakfast okay we have the subject i have eaten okay which comes from to eat okay the infinitive verb is eat now the past participle is eaten it's an irregular verb okay so I have eaten my breakfast, okay? The second sentence is, she has cleaned the windows. She has cleaned the windows, okay? She, as a subject, has, okay, the third person singular, cleaned, which is a regular verb that ends in ed, and the windows. She has cleaned the windows. So this is how we build sentences in the affirmative form using the present perfect tense okay good so now the negative sentence how do you give a negative sentence in the present perfect tense so we have the subjects plus have or has plus the negative word not plus the past participle of the main verb okay so as examples, I have not eaten my breakfast. Okay, as you remember, the, uh, the, the affirmative form we said, I have eaten my breakfast. And here, I have not eaten my breakfast. Or you can give the contraction, the short form, I haven't eaten my breakfast. So you will say, I, you, we, they haven't. This is the short form of the negative. I, you, we, they haven't. Okay? 
She has not cleaned the windows. She has not cleaned the windows. Or you would say, she hasn't cleaned the windows. He, she, it hasn't. Okay? Just the short form of has not. She hasn't cleaned the windows. This is the negative form of the sentence. Okay? Good. Now, let's talk about the interrogative form. The interrogative form here, you have to start with the auxiliary have, okay? Then you give the subject and then the past participle of the main verb. For example, have or has plus the subjects plus the past participle of the main verb. As examples, have you eaten your breakfast? Have you eaten your breakfast? Okay, here we have started with the auxiliary because it is an interrogative sentence. The second sentence is, has she cleaned the windows? Has she cleaned the windows? Okay, so this is how we give interrogative sentences in the present perfect okay so let's move on to the next slide good now we are going to talk about some usages so how do we use the present perfect as a tense how do we use it in which situation okay so it is used to talk about an action that started in a certain point in the past and continue to the present and continue to or continues in the present. It is used to talk about an action that started in a certain point in the past and continues in the present. If you don't remember, as I said earlier, that the present perfect links the past and the present. We talk about an action that started in a certain point. In a point in the past, that is still true in the present. Okay? So, you will avoid giving uh, the past time expressions like last time, last year, or in 1990, something like that. No, we never mention the, the past time expressions with the present perfect. But we said that the action started in a certain point in the past, okay, and continues in the present, okay? As an example, he, li he has lived in New York all his life. We know that he did not start living in New York today, but he started living in New York, okay, in the past, and still now he lives in New York. Okay, so we talked about an action that started in a point in the past and continues to the present. Still now he lives in New York. Okay, good. Now, how do we use the present perfect with since and for? With these two words, since. So let's talk about them each, I mean, one by one. Since, we use since when we refer to the starting point in past time. Okay, as I said, we talk about the present perfect. It is used to talk about an action that started in a certain point in the past. Now, if you want to mention that point in the past, it's possible to use since. It's possible to use since. That's why... We use since when we refer to the starting point in past time. As examples, I have been here since 8 o'clock. I have been here since 8 o'clock. Let's say now it's 10 or maybe 12 o'clock. But I have been here, okay, since 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is in the past time. Now, if I want to mention the starting point in past time, I use since. Okay? Since. Good. The second sentence is, they have been married since 1990. 1990. They have been married since 1990. 
we cannot say they got married in 1990. That is not the present perfect, but that is the simple past. Okay, so since can be used to mention the starting point in the past using the present perfect. Okay, good. Now, for, we use for to talk about a period of time or we use for to talk about the all amount of time that someone has spent doing something. For example, my father hasn't visited us for two weeks. It has been two weeks my father did not visit us, for example. So my father hasn't visited us for two weeks. Okay? Good. The second sentence is, we have lived here for 10 years. Hmm. We have lived here for 10 years. We know that action started in the past. And we cannot mention the past here. We just give the all amount of time that we've been living somewhere. We have lived here for 10 years. Okay? So let's move forward. Good. We use the present perfect to talk about experiences from the past. Also, you have experience or you have done something in the past. Okay. You can use the present perfect or we can use the present perfect to talk about experiences that we have lived, for example. I have seen this movie for five times. I have seen this movie for five times. Okay, so I've seen the movie first, I mean, uh, once, twice, or I could say, I have seen this movie for many times. Okay, good. The next sentence is, Mr. Jallo has been to Paris many times. It's not ju just once he has been to Paris, but many times. Okay, good. The present perfect with already yet never and ever already it is used in the present perfect to state a completed action but recent what do i mean we can use already to talk about an action that happened in the past in a recent past in a recent past okay good as example we have already talked about the project let's say we had a meeting so we said that the meeting was supposed to take place at 10. Now there's someone who has come late, maybe um, at 12. And then I said, we have already talked about the projects. I could say also, we, we have talked about the projects before you have come. We have already talked about the project. It is in the past, but a recent past. Okay. Good. Yet. Yet is used to talk about unfinished action. It is mostly used in negative and interrogative sentences. Yet is used with the present perfect to talk about unfinished actions. An action that is not finished. Okay. As example, have you done your exercise yet? Have you done your exercise yet? Yes, the action is not finished. I want to know if you have done your exercise so far. Or they haven't taken the exam yet. They haven't taken the exam yet. The action is not finished because they did not take the exam. Okay? At the opposite, the past tense or the past simple talked about actions that happens in the past. Started and finished in the past. And the present perfect talk, talks about an action that started in, in, pa in the past and, okay, in the present. Continues in the present, okay, like we said earlier. So let's move on to the next slide. So never and ever. Never and never is used in negative sentences while ever is mostly used in interrogative, okay, 
in interrogative sentences. Examples. Have you ever played tennis before? I would like to know if you have experienced playing tennis. If you have experienced playing tennis. Have you ever played tennis before? Okay. I give an answer. No, I have never played tennis. Which means we can give a negative sentence in two ways in the present perfect and in the other tenses of course we can use the negative word not and we can use never as to put the sentence into the negative form okay have you ever played tennis before no i have never played tennis okay good and this is the end of the class so there is um, a little exercise that you can do we're going to do it yourself okay so we will see what it is okay so this is the end of this course i hope it will be very 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 insightful and interesting to you and next time you'll be able to use the present perfect when you want to talk about uh, an action that started in the past and continues in the present okay so you remember that there is a big difference between the past simple and the present perfect yes we can use the present perfect to talk about past actions like i said but you should know how to use those past actions using the present perfect tense okay so uh, thank you for watching um this video i hope to um to give many 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 other videos um next time so what have you learned so far so thank you and see you next